Good morning, Southern California, AM 1220, KHTS. This is the Santa Clarita Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight. I'm very happy to be su- uh, joined by Sue Reynolds. Sue Ro- uh, Reynolds is a career coach, an executive career counselor, but a career coach mm-hmm. with New Market Careers, and uh, a member of our board of directors for the Chamber of Commerce. Exactly. Also, uh, you're the president of the local Sir Optimus. Right, one of the two clubs that are here in town, yes. I'm and uh, involved in a few other things exactly. in town, such yeah. as? The Education Foundation. I'm on the board of the SCV Education Foundation, really working to make sure that education grows in our community, that we have great public education. And uh, via yes, yeah, Valley Industrial New Hall Association. Trail riders, yeah. Yes, <laughs> so Sue is well connected in the Valley, which makes her very appropriate to be a career coach. And l- let's just talk about you know to get a job, it's not about the resume. However, you do have to have a resume that is properly corrected and 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 legible. You need the basics. Well, and the the really useful way to look at a resume is that it is a brochure about you as a product. Now that goes from the most humble career all the way up to the most senior executive. That resume, that biography, that document, whatever you want to call it a curricula vitae, it has to really show what you are, what you can do as a product. That's a well-written resume. And I'll add who you are, um, but don't add anything on there that's not true. You might get fired several years from it. I can't believe these no, people that put no. degrees that they don't have. No. So really what make it clean, thinking? make it crisp, make it positive. Be able to defend every single sentence that's on it. Do not overstate something. It, it, it's interesting watching people how to uh, try to balance whether they're saying something too strongly or not strongly enough. And really, Often I see people not realizing what they have accomplished in their career and what they could be talking about in their resume. And that's what's important because we hire great people, not great resumes. Now, let's talk about the people side side of it because I know you believe really strongly on networking. Yeah. If you're looking for a job, go out and find one. Yeah, and and it's going to be, you know, let me talk about the job market for one thing. Everybody wants to say, oh, things are so bad. People are still getting hired even in this very difficult market. And companies are still hiring great people. They want the best possible people that they can find. So it's he or she who will get themselves out there, make the connections that they need, be ready to talk about their strengths and capabilities. Now, it's also interesting that that people that have had to leave industries for whatever reason maybe have been downsized from a company that they've been with for 35 years and that's very very sad and really devastating for them they still have transferable skills and networking can still work for them they have to go find the people to get in the door to have the right conversation and that's all about building connections building leads it's it's a sales process it really it really is yeah. i i um was fortunate to speak with Harvey McKay just yeah. this past week, and he talks about yeah. having your Rolodex. Well, in the old day, it was the Rolodex, right? Now it's kind of your outlook and your database yes. and connecting with people. But one thing I do want to ask you about is when you send those into the community to go meet, and I think you're very good at that as a mm-hmm. career coach and in introducing people to to uh, to well-connected to individuals. Mm-hmm. What's your thought towards maybe having someone join a charity and give some of their time? It, I'm entirely of that mindset, and and indeed, I talk to people about choosing a passion that they have for themselves, that and whether that might be animals, when then go help out New Leash on Life, go join the group at the Castaic Animal Shelter. If you are passionate about children, then there are tons of we we have 200 nonprofits in our community just starving for help and attention, and and ev- all of those committees need attention. I just have had a, a, a younger uh, fellow that helped out at a charity uh, charity golf outing very recently, and he was noticed by the board of directors at that charity, and a comment actually was made, hey, you know, three more like him. Well, see, now look at the impression that he made on the community and all those people that are willing to go to bat for him now for his career. And you get to find out about the character of somebody when you're volunteering. And understand a lot of these charities, their board is made up of business owners that hire a lot of people. 
Absolutely. These are the very references and the very word of mouth leads that, that people need. So if you've impressed the business leaders of our community by being elbow to elbow with them at a committee function, at a, you know, working with them on an event that they care about, they're going to stand behind you and be a reference for you when it's time to have a job. Did we cover it all? We covered, uh, you know, having a solid resume, you know, seeing a professional like yourself. We covered getting involved in the community. We uh, covered getting involved with the charity. Is there any other things you recommend individuals do? Well, do the we? contrast that I really would love to make is that people think that they're going to sit at their computer all day long and they'll talk to me about, oh, I worked so hard today on finding a job. I pressed send over and over and over again and I've worn out my index, index finger doing it. No. A job search is knowing your skills and getting out in the community and getting it done. And don't be afraid to take a job. And I, I say this as a business owner that's hired quite a few people recently. Don't be afraid to start, take a job at a lower wage because they will train you. And if you're good, they'll want to keep you. Yeah. Get in the door of the right organization and grow with them. Yeah, grow yeah. with them. Be, be a great investment. I want to thank you for all you do in the community. Uh, I, I know that you could, if you just Google Sue Reynolds SCV, you'll find out all about her. But if you, those that want to reach you, because this is on the Internet yeah. and, of course, on the radio, um, how can they reach you to find out more about you helping them improve their lives. One super easy way is on the Chamber website, scvchamber.com. My own website, newmarketcareers.com. Yes, you could certainly just Google uh, any of the, <laughs> the sites around town, but, but scvchamber.com is an easy one, and it's such a great way to find all sorts of resources. And yeah, you know, shop SCV, shop local, use your local resources. Yeah, and as you can see, Sue is so dedicated to our city and promoting the great values and virtues of our city. So thank you very much as always. Yeah. Um, you were wonderful. Uh, very involved with Chamber of Commerce and the entire community. Ladies and gentlemen, Sue Reynolds, a, mar a coach, a career coach with New Market Careers. You've been listening to and watching uh, on the internet, uh, SCTV, Santa Cruz Valley Chamber of Commerce Business Spotlight on AM 1220 KHTS. My